Yeah, hi there. These comments are for GA, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And I just read your integrated writing practice test, and you can see this is what you wrote here. And then here is the actual reading passage and the lecture over here. So in case I have any comments I might have to give to you according to what you wrote, I will let you know. All right, so first of all, I like your structure. You have very clearly organized this information, beginning with a thesis and introduction, which basically talks about the main point of the reading and the lecture. Then, in each body paragraph, you got first, second, finally, you're basically stating the main point of the reading and the lecture side by side as they relate. So I think overall, you have a very good, strong organization. Now, maybe... In terms of accuracy, there might be one thing I wanted to point out here. See if I can find it here. Give me a second. In this last point, you say the reading passage explains that homeschooling, you don't have to really say S, just say homeschools, I think is a better way to say that. Uh, homeschools avoid the students from being liable since it is going to affect on them in the future. But if you look at what the reading passage says, it's saying that it prevents them from being on time and responsible. So you're not exactly, I don't think liable is exactly a restatement of these key words here. So I think in that final paragraph, I think you misrepresented some of the information, I think, from the reading passage. And you had some minor, some minor problems with, with your, um, what I call sentence structure. Let me see if I can give you one example uh, here to back this up. Let me read one of your paragraphs here. Or so, okay, let's go to this paragraph here. Just show you one example. You say second, the reading passage debates that parents who are responsible to teach or convey the knowledge to their children are usually irresponsible due to other tasks that they may have in their jobs. That is correct. Nevertheless, great word by the way, the listening passage counters that there's another method that students, I would say at home, can learn by instead of their parents, which is technology. And then you say this technology provide, no, just say which is technology, which provides instructors the ability to keep track of students learning progress at home. So this whole idea here, you just struggled with your language use trying to put this idea together. But other than that, you had pretty good control, I think, mostly of your sentence structure, your word choice, and other aspects of your language use. All right, so now let's talk about your score. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to the rubrics here. I will put these rubrics, of course, in the email for you so you can also take a look at this. Uh, I think you're pretty good. I'm going to put you at about 3.75 out of 5, or 24 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Now, for the purposes of our class, 3.75 is going to put you at 85% on this assignment. All right, so there it is. Anyway, thank you for completing the uh, integrated practice test. Uh, overall, I think you had a very strong response to the assignment.